All right, today we're going to be practicing factoring using the x-box method. So if we wanted to factor this equation, 2x squared plus 2x minus 12, we would use the following process. First, we'll have to remember that okay. in diamond problems, we learned that, um, and that get, x and y on either side like uh, multiply together to get, get right xy right now, and, and add together to get x plus y. And we're going to use that information to um, solve these, um, this, this equation and, and, uh, and factor it. So first thing we need to do is draw our, our x-box. I mean, we'll be paying even less than that, because I'll be paying 425. And up in the top here is going to be the 2x squared times the negative 12. So this comes together here. Okay. This so comes together here. Hold off on and we get negative 24x squared. And then in the middle term, the middle term is going to go into the bottom here, and, and 2x here. What would change that? So what we need to think now is what two numbers multiply together to get okay. negative 24x squared, and what two numbers add together to get x plus y. And a little bit of thinking uh, reveals that it's negative right. 4x okay. well, I, I like and 6x. So now we can use that information to go to go to the X box, which we're going to use to do our eventual factoring. Well, she, I, was, I, I talked to her last night. She has not found anyone else at this point who... So in the X box, we put the original so, original value up in the upper corner. That'll be 24 hours. It's going to make, it's going to make a difference. And we get 2X squared here. And in this but corner, I mean, I, I would hope that we put the negative 12, which goes in this corner. And either sides... We're going to put the negative 4x and the 6x. Right, and I guess I, yeah, I, I just, I don't now we have to find which numbers go into each of these. So we look at 2x squared and negative 4x. What number goes into both of those? Well, 2x does. Into 6x and into negative 12, we find that 6 goes into both of those. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4x. And Thank 2 you. times 1, or 1x, is equal to 2x squared. So now we have the sides of our, of our generic rectangle, of our, of our box. And we can use that now to solve it with the, with the put it in factored form. So we know the length of the box is 2x plus 6, and the width of the box is x minus 2. And that is our finished answer.